Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through common mistakes that we all make in while writing our CSS code. And what are the top seven mistakes that you should avoid when writing CSS? At the end of this video, I'm sure you'll learn new techniques of how to write better code in CSS. Let's get started. So the first and the foremost thing is not using a CSS reset. Now understand that each of these browsers that we work with, be it Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer or Edge, all of these have their different defaults, right? So always start with writing a CSS reset so that you bring them all aligned and in inline so that you work it so that it works correctly in that particular browser. So the first and the foremost rule is to always reset the CSS. The second one is writing over qualifying selectors, right? Now, understandably, in some cases, we can do that. But trust me, try and avoid as much as you can. Long selectors also have a negative impact on performance. So if you see your website loading slow or your web application performing slow, its chances are it's too heavily loaded on CSS as well. So take a look at this example. We have main section article and then H2. So when you have the such long selector, it would take time. And overall, if you start writing all of this in your code, you will have a negative impact on your performance. So what is the alternative? Prefer using a class name, prefer targeting that particular element directly instead of this long selectors, right? Even better, provide a class name and directly write the code for it. Now, this is the most common thing that I hear in my experience on working on different large applications, which is let's build for desktop first and then we will work on mobile later. Trust me, this is the recipe for disaster. Whenever you're designing, always start with the smallest one that you're targeting. If your application is supposed to work with mobile, let's start with mobile first. Don't go the other way around, which is from desktop to mobile, because later on mobile never comes. It's always mess. Your application will have huge number of defects, issues of rendering. And the first thing is always target with the mobile and then grow to the largest design. Using absolute units. Now, this is yet another thing that I see commonly in the code, which is people start using pixels. So what happens is when you give fixed pixels, it will not scale. It will not be a fluid layout. So start using the relative units whenever possible, like percentages or RM, view height or view width, etc. Try not to use fixed pixels because that will not be scaling on different device layouts. And hence your layouts and your application would be broken on different resolutions. So try and avoid giving the fixed pixels. Instead, start using absolute units. Then this is yet another thing. Again, these are enterprise specific, project specific, but everything will have a proper naming. OK, like that is what would be decided in your projects. But not having a naming is also a standard process for disaster. If you are having a generic one, let's say dot title. Now we don't know where does it apply, right? Anybody who is reading your code will not know what does that title do? Which title are you targeting about? So write something like meaningful one dot news underscore title. Now this will tell you that it's a news tile, right? It is specific to belonging to news. If you just write dot tile, we don't know which one you're targeting and hence becomes bad code because in long term, you don't know where, what to change where to change and if you change something where else it can break. So that is the most important thing about writing the code. Now, this is yet another thing that I see in the uh, common practice, which is writing CSS before HTML, right? Always start with the semantic web and HTML, right? Because you create the information structure first, you design the overall layout that what is the heading, what is the uh, subheading, etc. And then you go about your business of writing CSS. 
but some people parallelly they start writing CSS which is incorrect try and give a HTML structure first so you know how to write optimized CSS just parallelly writing HTML and CSS will lead to lot of code and unfortunately will lead to performance issues in your application also you would know which code to reuse for example a heading it can be standard across different pages a subheading can also be a standard across different pages so you can write a common code but if you go about writing CSS for each heading tag for each web page that is a recipe for disaster now this is yet another thing accessibility if you work in client uh, projects you would know that clients will insist that it has to be accessible right accessibility testing has to be done which means the colors the the focus elements the alt tags the title tags all of this should be present right so make sure that your colors are accessible as part of CSS do not remove the focus styles because that's also as part of accessibility so when you write code keep accessibility testing also in mind especially with respect to CSS that that were the top um, mistakes that I see in the code and I encourage my team and everyone to follow so that you don't make those common mistakes but do let me know if you have any more thoughts on how you can avoid mistakes in CSS I would be happy to learn from you please do subscribe to my channel so you get more such informational videos thank you so much